156. I'm going to come back to y'all. We live at Turner's Boxing Club in Frederick, Maryland, ladies and gentlemen. State of the Arts facility. Phillips Boxing, Phillips Turner's Boxing Club. Yes, indeed. State of the Arts camp, man, right here, man. This, uh, Frederick, Maryland, man. This is this this gym is nice. If you know anyone that's in the Frederick area, come out here. Come on out here. I mean, stay the arts facility. Anybody in the Frederick area, this is the place you want to be at. What's up, brothers, man? So how you doing, I'm sir? here with Coach Turner and Coach Troy over here at Turner's Boxing Club out here in Frederick, Maryland. Tell me a little bit about the program, brothers. Well, we are teaching the kids about fighting, the art of boxing. Um, we're here in Frederick County. Uh, one thing about the program is we want all our kids to be A and B students. Okay. You know, before boxing, you know, listen at home, listen in the school, and they come here to get disciplined. So we discipline them to the best that we can, and the program is set up to get them to work out, do everything that we used to do when we was boxing. So we just encourage them, you know, keep their minds strong, keep them going on. A lot of times is that, you know, how kids fall between the cracks. They want to listen to their peers and know their peers ain't right. But we try to lead them, be leaders instead of being followers. And I love doing it. So Coach Turner gave me an opportunity at this time to do it. And the thing is, I've always done this for a certain amount of years. And I'm still into it. First, I started in Montgomery County. I boxed. Um, Quite around the world, we would say. Not in France or anywhere like that, but in Canada, things like that, D.C., Philadelphia, uh, Laurel, Maryland, and, you know, Montgomery County. That's where I started. Coach Mooney, I started with him as a coach. Bill Green, started with him as a coach. Izar Ilkunov, he was from Russia, started with him on the USA team as an alternate. So I pretty, much, I pretty much know that, you know, know what to do, know which way I want to go. Um, I have a great relationship with everyone here, the coach, uh, the kids, and that's basically it. Yes, indeed, man. Uh, Troy, man, it was an honor seeing you again as always, brother, Same man. Way. Yes, indeed, it's brother. A pleasure, sir. Man, we're here with the owner. Yes, indeed, ladies and, and me, gentlemen. Coach Turner. Hey, I, me and Coach uh, Troy. Uh, trying to build these kids with, with structure, uh, show them that they can do the things that, you know, to get them to the, the next level in life. Um, staying out of trouble, uh, being positive, role models to other kids. Um, like me, I, I come out of Washington, D.C. as a little kid in the, in the 50s. I was born in 1958. D.C. general and and I've been from there to the military and, and worked for the government for so many years. And I just wanted to give back to my community in any way that I can. I try to help the kids in this area. And even the kids in Washington, D.C., if they came out here to work, to work out, they're welcome. Right. Um, 
And this is a good retirement because I am 65 years old and it keeps me in shape. Uh, I've been doing this for years and years and years uh, in the military, before I was in the military. Like Ham, like Ham Johnson is one of our oldest trainers of Washington, D.C. Yes, indeed. And I grew up in, in, his, in his time, mm -hmm. you know, as, as seeing him training the young kids at Heinz Junior High. And, and you know what I'm saying? And so basically, I just want to get back to the kids. And, and it keeps me in shape, too, because when I came in here, I was 265 pounds. And now, since these kids keep me in shape, I'm at 170. Wow. Feel good. Yeah. Uh, I mean, my wife, we just want to continue to keep our journey into helping our community and help these kids go and get on the right track in life. And and I'm thankful to be here. Yes, indeed. I'm thankful to be healthy. Uh, thanks for, for Coach Troy. And he's thankful to, to see you. I, I met you online. I mean, I've seen you online. And, but now you're here. Yes, indeed. Basically, that's all I have. Now what's the, what's the address? Give them, let's so they can the address, address here. 801 Northeast Street, Suite 4, Frederick Merlin. Okay. Uh, 21701. Okay. For those that's in the Frederick area, come on out here, man. This is a state of the art facility. I mean, I mean he has multiple uh, setups here. Uh, he has another gym in there. I'm going to go in there also after I finish talking with him. But he has multiple. This, this, this is state of the arts, man. It gets no better than this. And I've been to many gyms in the area. This is his wife as well. Yes, indeed. Introduce yourself so that people I'm can Deborah know. Turner. Deborah Turner, yes indeed. Uh, I'm with this guy here. Yes indeed. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, tell me more about the gym from your aspects. We just got his aspects. We want to hear yours. Okay, well I guess he told you when we started. Uh, September of 2019. It was my husband's dream to open a gym to um, just teach. He, we both love to mentor young people and uh, just to you know do something that he really enjoyed as a young man in the military and afterwards boxing. Um, it's a lot of kids that you know get bullied and, and just maybe need some direction, need some to boost their self-esteem, to um, learn some self-defense. Yes, indeed. And. Uh, we just find that I think we've really touched a lot of lives in uh, almost five years that we've been here. Um, it, it's hard. We mm -hmm. realize boxing is um, it's kind of a specialized sport. It's not for everyone. Right. But for those that do come, um, I think they've really they've really found friendships and they've found adults that care about them here. Mm -hmm. um, they're part of a group. Um, they have gotten fit. There's a number of young people that have lost some weight. And um, it's just kind of, it's, it's a really nice mixed group of, of youth that we have here. Yes, indeed. So, Some of these kids have been here for four years. Wow. wow. Yeah, yeah. This young man, it's his first day. It's his first day. <laughs> his okay. very first day. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, word's getting around. And, um, you know, we have our for-profit and our non-profit. Okay. And um, so we have Turner's Boxing Club. And then we have the Turner Boxing um, Gym and Youth Development Program. So, um, you know, whatever we can do, uh, we, we don't make money in here. We don't make, we never made money here. You know, no. and to this day, we always invested our own money. Right, right. Every month. Yeah. Right. Every month, $6,000 a month just for the building. Wow. So it's like, yeah. but we have seven 700 square feet, and it's basically, we have a mom and pop boxing here. Right. So yeah. we have to put the bill every month. Do y'all have anywhere that people can send donations here? If, if yeah, they, they, they could. They could send it to... Um, our Turner Boxing, Boxing Gym, Gym Youth and Youth Development. Development. It is a 501c3. Okay. So they could, um, you know, use it as a tax deduction. Yes, indeed. And we do have people that donate from time to time. Okay. We have done some car washes. We're going to have our first event here. Um, not here, but we're going to use it. We have to utilize somebody else's gym right. because not we don't have a 20 foot. Facility. We don't okay. have a 20 foot ring. Okay. So we, we're going to utilize it. And we're going to have a fight event in Hagerstown, March okay. 16th. Uh, this is our big, be our first event. For the, event. So, so we're real excited about it. Give the address one more time for those that are in the Frederick area can come up here oh, yes. and start training as well. It is 245 Prospect no, Avenue. Where the fight's going to be? No, no, this this address. Oh, I'm here. sorry. Yes. Well, that's where our fight's going to be. Okay, okay. On March and give 16th. that as well next. Okay, so the address for here at Turner's Boxing Club is 801 Northeast Street. We're Suite 4. And um, there's parking in the back of the building or across the street. Um, then we have our event that we're going to have. Our first sanctioned event is going to be on Saturday, March 16th. And that's at 245 Prospect Avenue in Hagerstown. Yep. And um, so we're, you know, trying to get people to get online, order some tickets, and come out and support us that day. We would really, you know, love to have your support. 
Awesome, awesome. Well, we look forward to getting the people in here as well as that fight that's coming up. I'll make sure I have a flyer on the DMV Boxing Legends page so others can see it. And maybe some people might want to participate in it as well. That, sure. that would be on here. Because everybody's on here that's a fighter comes okay. through. Right. That's in there. This is the one-stop shop to get the news. Right, right, the right. DMV. They got to well, come we here We appreciate first. that. Yes, indeed. Yeah. But I'm going to show them the rest of the facility. And then I thank you guys for uh, allowing me to come in here and hey, check I the facility you. out. We thank you. Yes, indeed. Thanks okay. so much. Welcome. Thank you. Have All a great right. one. Everybody. Thank you. Yeah, see, the facility is state of the arts, ladies and gentlemen. If you're looking for a place to train that you're in the Frederick area, this is on, and, and let, let me tell you something. This is the first set on here. Now you come back here, they have another section in the gym. It's two sections. You, for those that are professionals that's looking for a camp to come to, recently they had Javante Tank Davis out here as well who was training out here uh, get to get away. It's a, it's a nice getaway camp in Frederick, Maryland. Great place to get away to. I'm gonna show you a few of the pictures while we're up here. Sign it right here, too. Tanking them with just here. Uh, you had um, Monzo, Monzo and uh, the rest of the crew. You had Jaleel Hackett came through here. Had plenty of the champs came through here and trained. So if you're looking for a facility, to get away from and, and have a, a, a good atmosphere for um, privacy and, and be able to focus. This is where you want to be at. Ladies and gentlemen, DMV boxing legend, Rashid Hammond. Peace.